Jude Bellingham is already planning his next career, official documents filed. Josh Lawless Jude Bellingham is reportedly already planning for life after football as news of a possible venture emerges. The 20-year-old is arguably the most informed player in world football at the moment after an incredible start to life at Real Madrid. After inheriting signed Einzidens no.5 shirt at Los Blancos upon his £88 million move, Bellingham has scored 13 goals in 14 games for the club. Jude Bellingham's awkward exchange with Real Madrid fan. The Copa Trophy winner is living the dream and is said to be earning just short of 21 million per year at Real. While Bellingham could still have another 15 years at the top level, the Daily Star say that Bellingham has his eyes on the future. The Birmingham City Academy product has filed official trademarks with the UK's Intellectual Property Office in the Jude Bellingham name for opportunities in areas like food, alcohol and clothes. He has been granted a 10-year legal protection to market products but the big development is that Bellingham is looking to get into home security. A section on the trademark papers states, Security services for the physical protection of tangible property and individuals. It comes after a slew of footballers were victims of burglaries at their homes, including the likes of Raheem Sterling, Victor Lindelof, Paul Hogba, Jesse Lingard, Joao Cancelo, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Taoth Chong and Ashley Cole. Bellingham's parents Mark and Denise act as his agents and are at the heart of all of his decisions off the pitch. England International suffered a shoulder injury in real 0-0 draw with Rayo Vallecano on Sunday night and was seen with strapping on the area. However, manager Carlo Ancelotti is hopeful it is nothing serious. He said, Bellingham has a problem with his shoulder and will have tests tomorrow Monday. It's affected him a bit, but he was able to continue. Hopefully, it's nothing serious and he'll hopefully be available for Wednesday against Braga.